everyone and welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm so excited because today I'm going to be showing you how I make my digital vision board. Now the great thing about a digital vision board is you can make it small enough to be the home screen on your phone just like I am going to do today so that you constantly have the things that you are looking to accomplish and achieve this year right in front of you. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. So the first thing that I'm going to do to create my vision board is go into Canva. Canva is a really cool online resource and so I just went to the Canva dashboard and I typed in vision board as you can see and I scrolled through because I was like I want to find a nice neutral aesthetic for my vision board. I'm going to be really intentional about my aesthetic this year all around so yeah i'm going with neutral palettes a nice calm amazing life this year and so i stretch that out and then i go grab some photo frames and then i'm going to find this gold one that i thought was really cute all i need is the one so i'm going to shrink it and then i'm going to start duplicating it and I'm really excited to share some of the goals that I have for this year with you guys. And I hope that you share some of the goals that you have for this year with me as well down in the comments. Um, I'm putting my life in 2023 because I want a constant reminder that this is my life. This is the life I'm going to be living and I'm so excited about it. I hope that you're really excited and motivated to know that you can truly achieve all the things that you are looking to do this year as well. I'm going to be continuously motivating you here on the channel. I'm going to get an airplane because one of the big things that my husband and I are doing for our family this year is we are moving to Johannesburg, South Africa. So I got me a little gold plane and I'm going to put that in my very first photo frame and I'm going to get a nice picture of Africa and I'm going to add that to the vision board as well and I'm so excited because this is a huge faith move <laughs> that my husband and I are going to be making and I am going to go and I'm going to get a scripture this is a scripture that I love so much Romans 8 28 and it says and we know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose for them and you guys I know that my husband and I are doing everything we can to live in the calling that God has for us so boom I'm making sure I put that there and then I'm going to add a house because we need a place to live when we get to South Africa so I am grabbing a home that I can put there because you know we need a house to live in I'm going to be grabbing a book and I am going to put this here because I'm actually finishing a journal right now which I'm really excited about and I'm going to be putting a pin there because I'm writing this journal I'm going to grab some money because I want our finances to be in order and then I got this little calculator as well because budgeting is key. I don't just want to have resources. I want to make sure I'm spending the resources that I have well and appropriately. So I have my little calculator there. I am going to be adding a YouTube plaque because one of my goals is to have 100,000 subscribers this year. I want to get that plaque, you guys. And so I'm going to do what it takes. I'm going to put in the work. I one of the things that's really going to help you creating your vision board is going to be to know exactly what it is that you are trying to achieve. I really want to challenge you to not just put up pictures of houses and cars and whatever random things like know what it is that you're looking to do to try to achieve these particular things if you do not have a plan of action at all for how it is you want to accomplish a goal that you're putting on your vision board it might not be ready for your vision board yet sometimes we get a little discouraged when we don't accomplish all the things we put on our vision board but we don't accomplish them because we don't actually have a plan for how we will succeed in doing that thing so for example if you are looking for a financial increase in your life this year maybe you need to put on your vision board a promotion at work or starting 
your own business. Don't just have money, have a plan for how you look to acquire that money. I know on my vision board, I have financial increase as one of my things, but you'll notice I also put a calculator for budgeting because that is going to help us to retain more of the money that we bring in. So one of my strategic plans for financial increase is budgeting. One of my other plans for financial increase is to be able to sell the devotional that I am creating and another plan that I have for financial increase is to get that 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. So I put that money there, but I have three other things on my vision board that are actually pointing to how that's going to happen. So again, don't just put random things. Make sure you're thinking about, okay, and how are we looking at making this happen? What is it that we're going to do? And even if that plan isn't directly on your vision board, it could be something that you're gonna strategize about in the vision book that you create you want to make sure that it is included don't make your vision board a random wish list of things make it something that can truly be manifested and come into fruition in your life this year if you're not familiar with vision books you definitely want to check that video out here on the page because it is where i talk about how to not only to have goals but to create plans that help you achieve those goals that you have set for yourself. I have a picture of my family because I'm always wanting to just improve our family, grow it, not like with more kids, but grow us mentally and things like that. Um, I have a picture of myself and my husband because I want us to be able to really focus on growing our relationship this year, continuing to invest in each other. I have a community of people and that community of people is one step united and it is something that my husband and I do. It is a free community where we help people get from where they are in life to where they want to be and we want to be really intentional about investing in that community this year, helping as many people as we can. And here I have a scale because I am so close to my final weight loss goal. I know that I am going to nail and sustain that this year. So I'm super excited. The last thing that I'm grabbing is my Holy Bible because it is the foundation, last but most important. Um, and it is something that I want to be intentional about this year, just my spiritual growth and evolving and becoming the person that God wants me to be. And this is the finished product of my digital vision board. So it's really easy to make, especially once you know exactly what it is that you are looking to accomplish and achieve for this year. Create your digital vision board that you can carry around with you on your phone so you can constantly be reminded of all the things you are looking to do and accomplish this year. I really encourage you to do it. Like I said, it's just that simple. And make sure that you check out the video that I did on how I created my very first vision book that lays out all of my plans, my success habits, things like that, that I need to be doing to make sure I accomplish all the goals and things that I have put on my vision board for this year and if you want to make sure that you're going from where you are in life to where you want to be make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure you check out the link in the description box that i have to join our free community one step united and until next time peace